My name is Trent Staples. I'm Melissa Thorne. And I'm Zach Lunsford, and today we are here to talk to you about our application called Feed the Gov. Now, GM McCarthy, administrator of the EPA, is quoted as saying, information and transparency are the biggest drivers of change, and information allows people to act. And information is exactly what we're going to use to solve some of these problems we're going to talk to you about today. The overall problem pain we are addressing is inefficient city management. This boils down to these categories. Inefficient communication between residents and local officials, inefficient advocacy by local government, the lack of transparency, lack of su sufficient feedback, and lack of relevant data. According to the National Research Center, only 19% of Americans recently surveyed contacted their local elected officials. Only a quarter of those attended a local meeting. If we could only grasp a small percentage of this 81%, we would be greatly improving the quality of life and local government overall. The solution we propose is an app called Feed the Gov, which uses the use of innovation technology. It is a smartphone-based app which will provide the opportunity for residents to provide positive and negative feedback for all city services. The app will incorporate a human-centered design with a new method of collecting data on usage and quality of experience. And overall, the app will put city residents at the center of a bureaucratic environment, which will overall make a better quality of life for the residents of the municipality. According to Bruce Rainwater, director of the Center for City Solutions, city leaders are increasingly utilizing data and te technology to improve the quality of life for the residents in their cities. Data is the building block of cities for the future. Now this is a sample mock-up we came up with that would be what the residents would be viewing. They would be able to select which category, which would be customizable per municipality. And they would be directly be able to get feedback, positive or negative, on each of these, which will be directly related to the local officials or the administrators of the app, in which Zach will tell you a little bit more of how they will benefit from this. And after the input is put in to the application, they will the municipality will see a dashboard that's going to look something like this. Um, the information is going to be automatically compiled into charts and graphs and continually updated every week or month, however the municipality wants to do it. Um, these metrics will include percent satisfaction in each department, and they will also include, include percent satisfaction change over time in each department. Uh, we'll also have a city score section of the dashboard, which will compare municipality to similar municipalities of size and population. So our primary target is municipalities. We believe that this could potentially go national, but to improve quality of life, so we think that you need to stick at a local level, so we want to try that first, and then potentially go up. Uh, the end users will be the residents, and they will register their accounts where they live, and then due to location services that our app will have, they will be able to visit other cities and with this app tell city officials how they felt about things that they went to. Um, according to the Pew Research Center, as many as 47% of ordinary citizens say there's not much that they can do to influence the government. This is a very alarming stat considering that we are now in the age of technology and for people to still feel like there's nothing that they can do. We want our app to improve that. Um, so users that have registered will be able to go to an event, and, or they can say something that they dislike or needs improvement. They will fill out how they feel. It will then be graphed into what Zach said, and the city will be able to review it. And when this happens, mayors and city commissioners can use this to advocate funding for specific things they want. Municipalities are then better able to efficiently and appropriately fund things that they want and then citizens will then actually feel like they have the power to help the government and improve the quality of life in the cities that they're living in. Yes, like Melissa said, the citizens having a voice is a big part of, of Feed the Gov and it's a lot of what makes Feed the Gov unique. Um, a lot of what is happening right now, um, like Socrata and OpenGov are doing we are also doing, but we are also incorporating citizens' input to that, and we are providing a little bit more practical applications for this data. Um, Socrata is about transparency. OpenGov is about data. Uh, the differences 
Um, OpenGov is actually out there getting data, fishing for data, and compiling that data. Uh, we have the software and technological know-how of Kittera that's going to compile that data automatically in our program. Um, when, it, it, when, volu when citizens volunteer their information, um, and we do everything that they do and also incorporate the citizen's voice. Um, and here's how, is a business model canvas, is how we're going to capture real value through this idea. Um, the value that we're proposing is to provide current relevant data so that local municipalities can more effectively prioritize issues and more efficiently solve them. Um, this meaningful data is going to be able to be used at various levels in advocating to businesses to attract commercial activity, advocating to federal and state authorities to better advocate for the citizens, and also to show this data to neighboring municipalities to help them out as well. Um, key resources are obviously going to be the software and technological know-how of Kittera, and uh, the main resource that we need is the input volunteered by citizens. Uh, our key activities will be maintaining the software for the dashboard, we will provide continual customer support for the application and the dashboard, and also we will have complimentary training for each sale that we make for to customize our program to fit the municipality the best it can to where it will satisfy their needs. Um, our customer channels, how we're going to reach people. Um, through our, our sales and marketing team is going to go to city commission meetings and chamber of commerce meetings. We'll also reach people through social media and our app will market itself through its success through word of mouth. Um, and our value is going to be amplified through showing this data at local levels and through city commission, the chamber of commerce meetings, and also data is going to be used. Sorry, <laughs> citizens are also going to amplify the value through word of mouth by telling other residents about the program. Um, like Alyssa said, our primary target is municipalities. After we see success at the local level. We will go on and tailor our program to fit state representatives, governors, and senators, um, and hopefully go to the national level eventually so that we can provide a better quality of life for everybody. We'll measure the success by our number of downloads, um, how many people are inputting information, our number of sales to municipalities, and uh, metrics will also be included in each specific municipality's dashboard to show how successful this program has been for them and how much percent satisfaction has changed. Our overarching goal and vision is to create and improve synergy between the government and its residents through efficient communication and transparency in order to achieve a higher quality of life for all. Do you have any questions? <laughs>